Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are testing out the new iPhone 8 Plus camera. I've got all three colors right here so you guys can take a look because I've yet to show you guys the different colors. This is the space gray, and we have the 8 silver and the beautiful rose gold, which is mine. So now the iPhone 8 is out, it has been dubbed the fastest phone on the market currently, which is pretty excited because you guys might know I'm a little bit of a fan. We're gonna be testing out the video and the photos, and I've got the help of some of my friends back here. That's uh, Ed and Jenna. They're getting ready for their slow-mo 1080p shots with the new iPhone 8 Plus camera. So the first thing we're gonna test out is the back camera. We're gonna be using some of the new portrait lighting features, so let's test those out. Let's take this photo of Jenna and we can go in and I can show you guys the difference. Here's the natural light, switching to studio light, adds a lot more light on her face. Contour adds some more shadows to her face and some on her body as well. And the stage light basically removes the entire background and makes it seem like she's in a studio. The stage light mono makes the entire photo black and white. Hi, okay. Lovely. Lovely. What mode are you doing? Photo. These photo filters aren't anything new when you go in to edit your photos in the camera app. But one thing that I think a lot of people might overlook is this. When you go in to adjust the lightness and the darkness and the color and the black and white, if you click this little thing right here, this will take you in to be able to adjust even more finer details. A lot of people rely on third-party editing apps, but really you can do pretty much everything right here inside of the camera app. Those previous photos weren't taken in portrait mode, but this one was. You can tap the portrait mode button at the top if you want to remove the blurred background, or if you like it, you can tap it again to add it back on. That little magic wand up at the top will do some auto enhancements for you if you just want to cross your fingers and hope for the best. You can always go into any of those portrait mode photos and edit any of the studio lighting to change them on the fly. Wait, see if you can get the, the screen though of us taking this off. Do you want me to do it? My arm. Well, no, but like this filming this screen. Oh. So behind. <laughs> I was like, that's, there's no. no screen on the back. Cool. Let's look and see what we've got. Slides open. It's super crisp. Nice. Slides open. Oh, let's go get a slide pick. Hold on, wait. I didn't get the. I didn't get oh, I lost my necklace somewhere. One of the new things with the A Plus camera is its optical image stabilization, which also helps out with the front and the back camera. So if you're feeling a little shaky and a little crazy, your pictures will come out way more smooth and crisp. Now let's see if we can do some slow mo down the slide. Slow mo playground. Slow mo you. What if I break it? Just go fast. I don't think you're gonna. Super slow mo. Whip your hair back and forth. Yes. All right. Uh, go. for people asking, how do I change the video quality settings? It's simple, go into settings, camera, and here you can change the video settings from 4K 60 to 30 to 24 and so on. And also the slow-mo from 1080p at 240 to 1080 120. Let's first test out 4K at 60 frames. And now here's what it looks like slowed down 50%. This is normal 240 and now here's what it looks like slowed down 25%. Looks pretty good. I think I'm a fan. <laughs> I think my jump could use a little work. Here's 4K at 30 frames a second, and here is 4K at 24 frames a second. Let's test out some 4K footage from the back-facing camera, and I'm not gonna touch the audio. As it comes out of this camera is what you guys are gonna see next. Are we gonna hear it? Yep. 
This is the back camera and we're shooting right now at 4K 60 frames a second, which is new to the iPhone 8 Plus, which gives you a very smooth effect. I don't typically like to shoot my vlogs in 60 frames a second because it does make you a little bit dizzy, but it will allow you to slow down your footage. You can also get slow-mo and not have to shoot in 120. Here it is, look at this. Let's slow down the 60 frames a second. Landed it. Uh, four out of here. here we are, front facing camera, iPhone 8 Plus. Now the problem shooting here is there's very harsh shadows and there's also some very bright lights. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it handles this. We Justine, Justine! Hey! Hello! Hey. Hello! Do I want to stay? Are these recording? Not yet. Okay, so what we need to do now is we have to try to stack these. You want to hold all of them? Yeah, so fan them out, sort of like this. I think I made a really big mistake by taking this project on. Now the most difficult thing when testing out multiple cameras is some cameras perform better in different lighting, some perform different in different situations, so it's really hard to tell which is going to be the best. So what we've got here is the iPhone 8 camera. This is the Google Pixel. This is the essential phone. Samsung Galaxy S8, Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and the iPhone 8 Plus. I'm not really sure what I got myself into. They keep turning off every time I try to like start doing this. What a bad idea! Yeah, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. At least the tripods are nice. Yeah. You know, this is not going to be a very scientific test. I don't even know which camera to look at, but I kind of just wanted to see what this would look like if I'm filming with all of these cameras at the same time with some pretty harsh lighting conditions. The shadows are pretty intense. Some places here it's really bright, and it's also uh, a little windy too. It's a vibe. Just take the picture, Ed. Smile. Okay. That's the one. You pick the subject that doesn't smile. You don't have to smile. Just don't move. Okay, ready? You're moving. Hat, hat, no hat. Just don't move. Well, I mean, it can like move a little. I'm just, I just need you to be there in one position. Okay, ready? That's good. Now keep that pose. Ready? Past romance is worth telling me I just crash again. I think I know what you mean. We're good for a dollar. You gave me a smile. You stood there for a while. That was when you woke me up. All this time, I didn't know I had my heart on standby. That it is love that I am feeling inside. What it means to be a going to test out the portrait mode on the iPhone 8 Plus and the live focus on the Samsung Note 8. Instagram model. So, these actually look really good. Switching phones. Let's turn the blur all the way up. The interesting thing with live focus on the Samsung is when you're taking it, it looks like absolute trash. Like, I, it, I don't even know how the picture's gonna look good, but then when you go into the preview mode, it looks incredible. <laughs> like, look at this.
Both the iPhone 8 portrait mode and the Note 8 live focus took incredible photos. And it's really hard to choose which one I like the best, but I feel like out of this set of photos, I may like the Note 8 just a little bit more. And you have much more control over that degree of blur on the Note 8 than you do on the iPhone 8 Plus. But in some of the iPhone photos, they looked better, but then in some of the Note 8 photos, they looked better. It really, I think, depends on the situation. Anyway, let's test out the front-facing selfie camera on all of these phones. I would have to say out of this set, probably my favorite shot is on the Pixel. It picked up a lot of great contrast in the background. It also was slightly wide angle. And I thought out of all of them, the coloring was probably the best. Now for the back camera, no live focus, no portrait mode, just point and shoot. In conclusion, the camera that you have with you will always be the best camera. Cliché, I know, but it's the truth. I'm curious to find out from you guys in the comments below what you guys thought was the best out of each test that I did. I'll be looking out for those comments, and in the meantime, this is a time lapse from the new iPhone 8 Plus. With that being said, I am so excited for the iPhone 10, baby!